Hello and welcome to Brussels. It is the scene of the International Federation for Animal Health Europe Conference 2015. And the title of that conference is Healthy Animals, Healthy Food, A Healthy Future. Three things combined is going to drive the demand for animal source uh, foods up. It's already driving it up. There's a population growth growing quite rapidly in the developing world. Urbanization also growing quite rapidly but incomes increasingly going up in the developing world. And these three factors, particularly income, um, allow diversification of diets and in that context more animal source foods. So demand is rising very rapidly in all regions of the world for all animal source foods commodities. There are three scenarios for meeting them, all of which Europe can contribute to. The first scenario is that export of animal source foods can be done from Europe to the developing world and that is going to increasingly happen. It's happening now, it's going to increase. So that's one opportunity for Europe. The second scenario is that technology from Europe on how animal production takes place can be extrapolated, transfer, modified, taken to the developing world and that's already happening. Um, so Europe U and European technologies are increasingly finding its way into the production systems. In, in, uh, yeah. And a third thing is that indigenous production in the developing world will have to increase. And there again, um, all the work that is being done on increasing animal production and productivity, how to make the animal sector more sustainable, all that is happening here in Europe in some sense applies to the developing world. Now the challenge is to take care of animal production in the developing world. It's not just um, a sector that deals with meat and milk and, uh, and as commodities. Animals have multiple, multiple functions in the developing world and it's therefore adapting to those sets of con conditions and trade-offs.